Hey guys, what is up? WB886 here, and today I'm bringing you something rather special, as a matter of fact. Um, this isn't going to be a gameplay video to do War Thunder, this is going to be more of a speculation video, and um, what could be to come, let's say. Um, I had a chat with a guy on the War Thunder forums called, if I can find him, his name is... Firefly and first of all I would like to say big thank you to Firefly and his team for creating this wonderful piece of work because it's it's very realistic. I this video is basically about what the British tech tree or the RAF tech tree or the UK tech tree or if you want to call it could become. On screen now I'm about to put a photo of what the current RAF tech tree is like in War Thunder. Now there's not much, you've got a few Spitfires, you've got a few Hurricanes, you've got your Bombers, a few Jets. Where's the rest? I mean, there was tons of heavy Bombers for the for the United Kingdom in World War II. Now, now I'm going to switch to a photo of their version of the RAF Tech Tree. Look how much of a difference that makes. That is incredible. Um, we've got things like the Halifax bomber, the Manchester bomber, the Hampton. We've got two different variants of the Mosquito. We've got the Short Sterling. Um, we've got new Lancasters. We've got the Avro Lincoln. We've got the Avro Shackleton. We've got the Sea Venom. We have the Short Sunderlands. The Sunderlands were lovely aircraft. Uh, we've got a few new bow fighters. New Mon I think I said Mosquitoes. New Hornets. New Spitfires, they've even got their own naval tree now. You've got the Sea Fires. Um, it's, it's just incredible. I am extremely impressed with how well this tech tree has been done. And why aren't these planes in the game? You've, even on the premium side of things, you've got new Mitchells, you've got new American aircraft, as a matter of fact. You've got the Corsairs, you've got Kitty Hawks, you've got... You've even got B-17s, for God's sake. I mean, come on. This is a, even a new P-51 Mustang. It's incredible. I mean, this is what the British tech tree should be like now. Um, but if you, if I now show you what the patch or what War Thunder dev team hope to achieve for the RAF tech tree, which I'll put up on screen now, where's all these aircraft? They haven't got the Halifax, they haven't got the Manchester, they haven't got the Short Sterling. They're like really famous bombers and they're not in there. What's going on? This is the way forward in my opinion. I'm going to link you to the article in the description below. What I want you to do is go over there and show your support for this if you want this to be the RAF tech tree. And if you think that War Thunder should get off their... well... I wouldn't say they're being lazy, obviously they're working on tanks, ships, etc. Because they're being pressured a lot into tanks right now. Understand that, but... This. RAF Tech Tree. This would be amazing. I want to know your opinion in the comments section below. If you did enjoy the video and you do want this to be the RAF Tech Tree, make sure you click that like button below. Subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder. Um, and yeah, just comment in the section below what plane out of this Tech Tree you are most looking forward to. I am probably looking forward to the Bombers mostly. Um, the Halifax is one of my favourite bombers of all time, and also there's a Lancaster that's at tier 14. Now I'm thinking whether that's the one with the 20 mil cannons at the back and the and the 50 cal turrets. If it is, brilliant. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.